Welcome back in today's community conversations. Sac Tawanda Thorn James is joining us this morning with the El Paso Drug Enforcement Administration. Yes, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You're here to talk all about the DEA Drug Take Back program and why it's important for the community to participate. I mean, let's get right to it, Jessica. Yeah, so why do we want people to get rid of those and those who aren't familiar with the Take Back Day? Explain to us what that is and um, how do they get rid of their unwanted meds? Of course, so DEA's National Prescription Drug Take Back Day is Saturday, April 27th okay. between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And it's an opportunity for the public to bring their unused, unwanted or expired medications for disposal. Um, we've been doing this for over a decade and it is um, just a wonderful opportunity for the public to get rid of that unwanted medication. What has the response been like in the past when it comes to these events that you guys hold? I'm sure a lot of planning does go into them, but also getting the word out too, I'm sure helps about what this event is mm -hmm. and how it can benefit our community. But how many, what are you guys expecting is in regards to turnout, I should say, compared to years in the past? Well, over the years, we've collected tons of unused medications, and so it's been really helpful to the community. Um, here, we have over 60 locations in West Texas and New Mexico, and that includes our office at South Mesa Hills, also El Paso Police, El Paso Sheriffs, uh, UTEP, El Paso Water, just to name a few. We have multiple locations in Las Cruces as well, to include our, la our latest, which is the um, Elks Lounge. And this is a take back program that people don't necessarily need to provide a lot of information, right? What do they, what do you guys ask for? We don't ask for anything. It is completely anonymous. We just want you to rid your medicine cabinets of unwanted and unused medications. Um, you are able to go to our website, which is deatakeback.com to um, find the locations that are closest to you. You just plug in the zip code and those areas will pop up. And so if you have family members, um, because this is a nationwide event, if you have family members in other areas that need to go, okay. you can simply plug in their zip code okay. and find out where they can go as well. Oh, awesome. And in regards to ridding their medicine cabinets, what can they not bring to these events? What will you guys not accept? So what we do not accept is syringes, sharps, and illicit drugs. And so that they can actually take those to the um, Environment Department, the Citizen Collection Stations. There are several throughout um, El Paso, right? And this is where they can go. And we'll, of course, put all of that information as well on, on kfoxtv.com and the story. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. yes. And, you know, we were just talking about the DA's commitment to be able to hold an event like this to make El Paso safer in mm -hmm. general. Can you talk about that and your guys' commitment for this Take Back Day and in general? Absolutely. DEA remains committed to preventing um, drug misuse and opioid abuse at the start. And so we know that um, statistics have shown that many youth uh, get their drugs from home, um, the medicine cabinets of their relatives or families or friends. So we want to prevent that from even starting by appropriately disposing of these unused medications. Thank you so much for being here with us today. We'll of course put all of that information where you can take um, all of that unused medication with the DEA's office. If you missed this community conversation, we will have a replay of it on kfoxtv.com. Yes, thank you so much for being here with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you again for having